starting the live video for the Corona Kitchen for the faith community. So I'll wait to see if anybody uh, signs on before I start showing things. Christian Smith is watching. I'll wait for a couple of, couple of others. Pamela Smith is watching. How are y'all doing today? All right. What's that? Tell them what you're going to be doing. Fine. I'm waiting for more people to come on. It takes a couple minutes for people to start. Did you share it? Okay. That's good. It's been a great relaxing day for Christian Smith. It's been pretty relaxing for us as well, except we have to do the Corona Kitchen. So, <laughs> all right. Um, I'll go ahead and show my setup here. We're doing great, Pam. We're uh, just relaxing. So I've got the grill going, and I've got two sauces ready to go. Michelle's going in to, to grab her phone so she can um, start reading the comments when I start actually assembling things. So I did uh, two batches of wings. The first is a um, is kind of a green chili rub wing. I use this uh, green chili rub and uh, sprinkle that all over the, the half of the wing. Uh, and then, well, actually what, what we did was we went and bought a five pound bag of wings and separated it into uh, four batches. And with two of the batches, I sprinkled this on it. Uh, and with two of the batches, I sprinkled uh, homemade uh, jerk rub uh, on it. And so um, then we then we froze all, all four packs so that we could uh, only go to the meat market once this month and um, and then just pull them out. We pulled them out the day before, uh, so we pulled them out yesterday uh, to let them thaw in the fridge. So uh, this first one uh, set of uh, this first sauce, uh, I'll tell you, I'll have to put in uh, the ingredient list for the jerk rub because it's very long. Um, and if you're in the Atlanta area, the DeKalb Farmer's Market is your friend because it's a lot of spices, so I'll uh, I'll put that in the when 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 I sign off I'll put that in this uh, in this video. Um, so for the first one with the green chili rub, I'm doing uh, sriracha sauce, and this is actually a sriracha sauce that I made from some peppers from last year, and so uh, basically that's the base of it, uh, and then uh, that's about a quarter cup. A little bit less than a quarter cup uh, and then two tablespoons of butter and Michelle needs to hold the camera now um, and then I will do some lime zest and then cut this up for and juice it Whisk over there. And I'll just whisk that up. And that's what I'll toss the uh, green chili wings in. And then on this side, for the jerk wings, I'm going to use a cayenne sauce. And this is from cayenne peppers that, again, I got last year. Um, and actually, this doing this video reminded me that we didn't buy any cayenne peppers and plant them this year, so I went and got those yesterday. Uh, so this is a cayenne uh, pepper sauce. So again, same, basically the same ratio. And I'm just trying this. We had some mandarins. Um, and so 
I'm going to zest a mandarin and then juice it and put it in, the, in this sauce for a citrusy smell. Whatever. Thanks, Christian. I, I just moved my finger. Hopefully it sounds better. Uh-oh. <laughs> Can you hear now, or what, what did they miss? It just said the sound was muffled at times. Okay. All right. So that's what I'm going to put on the jerk wing. So as for the wings themselves, um, I set the grill to about uh, 375. Uh, so uh, it's been going for about an hour. And what I do is put the wings on for 30 minutes. Uh, and then uh, after 30 minutes, I flip them and I set the timer for 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, which is about 44 seconds away, um, I take out the wings and I sauce them and I put them back on the grill for uh, about 10 minutes to let the sauce set. Any any questions or comments? Lydia's on there. Hey, Lydia. So here are the wings. Here we go. And I'm glad I remembered that the green chili wings are at the front and the jerk chicken wings are at the back. So toss these in here I wish y'all could come over right now all right I'm not a good and Libby said this is a hallelujah, hallelujah moment right now. Oh, really? <laughs> and Christian asked what time they should come over. I need, well, you know, I need Christian and Pamela to come over, and he can make those hot fried brownie sundaes that he talked about. What? I don't know what you're talking about. His top five. Ah. <laughs> Pamela, Pamela's excited. And then I'll just set them back on. The wings are basically done. They just need the sauce to set a little bit now. And I'll grab the other. <laughs> what was that? He said, the funny thing is, I've never made brownies. I just love to eat them. Okay, well, we can make the brownies. You can just put it all together. Get a nice close-up of those. Now, which sauce is this? This is the cayenne pepper sauce. Cayenne pepper sauce, and I, it is eye-opening. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah, oh. hopefully this will open our sinuses up. Hi, Mom. I saw you were watching. <laughs> Thought I'd say hi. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that means they're good. Yeah. There's, a, there's some smoke, and it's, it's got a lot of flavor in it. <laughs> and I just let that go for about 10 more minutes, and then take them off, and we eat. So. And, uh, do you want to show them an update on the garden? Yeah. So last time we had... Uh, we did our Corona Kitchen Garden, and that was about four weeks ago, and things have changed quite a bit, so I guess those have grown maybe about a foot. Yeah, the tomatoes have now. grown about a foot. Yesterday we added um, some marigolds and petunias in the front. We planted some seeds, but those seeds were pretty old and they didn't come up, uh, and so we did that, and then we added this group of cayenne peppers here in grow bags back there and then 
we had we added um, sweet banana peppers over here um, and so all the flowers a lot of the flowers with that we seeded are coming up um, and a lot so the flowers that we planted here the marigolds and the petunias are supposed to help keep away uh, pests especially petunias are supposed to help keep away tomato worms which will eat uh, a lot of tomatoes and the, the, the plant they can destroy a plant in the course of a couple of days um, the towers are looking good uh, some of the, the nasturtiums are coming up on this side and then we just planted transplants of oregano and basil and thyme and then we have a couple of kale plants coming in down here uh, and some chard, chard plants coming in down there uh, and then our tomatoes in the back are doing pretty well too. So, um, so that that's our uh, that's how we do our wings. Um, and by the way, you can do this on any kind of smoker. Um, just make sure you're cooking it in indirect heat. Um, so if you're on a gas grill, just have one end uh, with the burners on and then put the wings on the other end. Um, and if you want the smoke flavor, you add a packet of uh, smoked wood chips. Oh, by the way, that's why I, I put in uh, for the fire. It's on, this is on charcoal, but I put in uh, some cherry wood chunks uh, here. Um, and then I put on, put in one big hickory wood chunk. Um, but if you have a smaller grill or if you're using an electric grill, you can use um, some of the uh, wood chips. So we have some peach wood chips over here. I didn't use it today, but, but you can just do a little packet of wood chips to get that smoke flavor going. And these are a lot smaller, but they'll burn faster. Um, so. They don't have to come off an egg. No, they don't have to come off an egg, and they don't have to come off my egg, uh, Pamela. Uh, they just really just need to come off of a grill. <laughs> you can actually do this in uh, in an oven if you don't necessarily need the smoke flavor, but I like smoky. Smoky stuff. So I'll give you one last peek at the wings. They are sizzling. And it looks like they're pretty much set. So, so there you go. Uh, wings two ways. And I'll put that jerk rub uh, recipe in the comments below.